Hey, what's up guys, it's Avery, and I feel like I say this before every video I make, but I truly did not plan on making this video. I actually feel like I'm not in my stomach right now, just thinking about talking about this. Because of this, I feel like my thoughts are going to be all over the place, but I will try my best to keep them concise. For anyone that doesn't know me, my name is Avery, I'm a big fan of baby metal, and I'm on Twitter as Nerochan45. While I do consider myself a part of this community, part of the one, I do tend to avoid certain websites and certain forms of social media due to how toxic the fandom has become, particularly in its treatment of Sue. Now, if anyone asks me, Sue is my favorite. Sue has always been my favorite since day fucking one. It's just how it is. I, I love her. She's amazing. However, due to the fact that I usually stay away from toxic websites, like, I don't want to name websites, but due to the fact that the fans tend to be more toxic on certain websites, I tend to not really read comments. I tend to mute uh, accounts or people that just fill me with negative vibes. I mean, you can say whatever the fuck you want, but I also have the right to not want to hear it, you know what I mean? However, this is not about me today. Not so much. I'm kind of doing this on behalf of a friend of mine, who is also a big Sue stan. Since I've become more active in the community lately, I've been noticing a lot more hurt within the baby metal fandom as a whole since Yui left, and it's insane the cause of it. You know, when Yui first left, it was all about Yui leaving and the causes of Yui leaving and stuff. But I had never heard until recently that people actually blamed Sue, which I think is hilarious because I'm just like wondering where people are getting this evidence of the stuff that they're claiming and the things that they're saying. I mean, you, you watch one video of this girl when she's young, when she's older. I mean, you can see she's one of the most humble people on the face of this earth and is always putting others before her since day one. So, do I believe the comments are pretty unwarranted? Yes, I do. But can people say whatever they want? Sure, they can. You know, whatever. Say whatever they want. However, what's driving me insane right now? A few things. Uh, firstly, just because you have a right to say what you want, doesn't mean you should say it every fucking where. So, if people are not happy with what you're saying, if what you're saying is considered bullying, towards the fans who love Sue, or what the fuck ever. I'm, I'm specifically talking about the Sue fans. If you're bullying somebody, saying shit they don't want to hear, if you're just being disrespectful, and they want to have a safe space in their own place, let them have their own fucking safe space. That drives me insane. If they want to have a safe space where they can convene and they can talk, don't fucking infiltrate it. That is the worst thing ever. You go, go into your own little hovel, dig your own fucking little hole, stay under your little rock, and talk shit there. Simple as that. You know how war has rules, like rules of combat? Just obey the rules of combat. You disagree? Cool. Agree to disagree. And disagree elsewhere. Like, why the fuck are you guys arguing with each other? Why the fuck are you infiltrating someone's sort of happy space and happy group to just shit on it? Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, get a fucking life. Get a fucking life. And I do find it hilarious. Like, I, I knew it was gonna happen. I fucking called it, and I was absolutely right. I knew once these girls became legal, people are going to start talking more shit about them, especially about their looks, especially about Sue, because of the fact that she is not what you would conventionally call beautiful, whatever the fuck that means, right? Because she's not curvy, and... <laughs> I don't understand. Like, I mean, literally, the things people talk about with Sue are, like, the weirdest things to gripe about, like the fact that, I don't know, her hair is black, or that she got her teeth straightened, or the fact that she had a mole here and got it removed. Like, people love that she got it removed, and the same people also hate that she ever had one in the first place, like she can fucking control that shit anyway. People complain about the fact that she's skinny, okay? Sorry, genetics. The fuck? Does she look like Himika? No. But does Himika sound like Sue? No. Like, I don't fucking get it. My point is, people waited. The thing is, if you had been in a fandom back before they were adults, you could see the comments here and there, talking shit about their looks, talking shit about everything like that. Same thing people are saying now. People were more shut down by it really quickly, though. People were like, what the fuck, these are kids, da 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 da, da. But the day they turn 18, or the day they turn 20, now I can talk shit, now I can do all this shit, da da da, da. no one can correct me, no one can say, oh, you're being a creeper, because they're adults, I can talk shit about other adults, I can't talk shit about kids. These people have just been waiting, like, in the fucking shadows just like counting down the fucking days like <laughs> ah okay cool unleash hell and it's just ridiculous and it's stupid to me it's so fucking stupid most of the fans convening around moa like oh moa's the best moa's the best i'm like you guys have been waiting in the fucking shadows for moa to become legal just so you can come out and say talk about how hot she is and all this shit and to start railing sue for not looking like moa i'm not saying fawn all over sue like whoever the fuck you want 
I don't care. What I'm saying is, I do believe you should have a bit of appreciation for all the members of the band. Because fun fact, it's not the MOA band. It's not. <laughs> it's not Kikuchi MOA on stage by herself. If that was the case, she'd be a fucking solo idol. That's not the case. It's baby metal. You are there to support baby metal. You're there to support the band, the singers, everyone. That is what a fan does. A fan does not nitpick. In my opinion, truly, you do not have the right to call yourself a fan if this is what you're going to do. I mean, if you, you can't. You're not a fan of a band if you don't support everyone in that band. It's a band. It is a unit. It is not one artist you are supporting. That's not how it fucking works. That's not how it works. But yeah, say all your shit. Claim to be a fan. What the fuck ever. The rest of us, we know who the real fans are. We know who the real fans are. So yeah, you can say all your shit, you can do what you want, but fun fact, when you fall away from the fandom, because eventually something's gonna happen to make you do it, we will always be here. We will always be here, because these fans, these true fans, people like me, have been here through it all. We've been here through Yui's leaving, we've been here through the album changes, we've been here through them growing up. We've been here through all of it. And that's what a fan does. You support. You support them in whatever decisions they make, whether you agree with those decisions or not. You respect the fact that they are a human being who can make their own decisions. They are a powerhouse doing something that only a few of us could ever imagine doing. The amount of shit that Sue gets, I think people don't really realize how unique of a voice she has. She's not just... I, oh my god. So these people, like, I literally am hearing arguments of like, oh, Sue's not beautiful, but she makes up for it in singing. Like, makes up for what? Makes up for what? How are we ranging what her worth is? Are you literally saying that she's not worth as much as Moa because she's not hot? Whatever that means. But she makes up for it because she can sing? It shows you the kind of people who are making these comments. These are the kind of people who probably... I know, I'm not gonna... Mm. Calm down, Avery. You just hit 10k. <laughs> Calm down. It says a lot about the type of people who are saying this, and I'm getting an image in my head very clearly the kind of marginalized, stereotypical group of people that are saying this shit. You get a very clear idea of this shit, because fun fact, it's all Westerners. It's all Westerners saying this bullshit. It is the stupidest shit. It is the stupidest shit, and it shows that you still see baby metal, and you always have seen baby metal as this... I'm trying not to say anything controversial, as if I haven't already. You still see them as... What's the word? You still see them as a classic idol group. And that's not what they are. They've surpassed Idol. They are a true band at this point. And they are strong, independent women who are beautiful, who are talented, who are taking the world by fucking storm. So to reduce them to something as trivial as looks is so beyond fucking insulting. And if you are a part of this group of people, I recommend you just unsubscribe for me now because I think it's sickening. It's absolutely fucking sickening that a woman can be degraded to such a status. It drives me fucking insane. I mean, literally, Sue could probably like take over the fucking world, fly to the moon and cure cancer and people would still call her, quote, an ugly beanpole with Vulcan eyebrows and jug ears. Like what the fuck? Like seriously, what the actual fuck? Have you heard her sing? Have you heard her sing live? She's an angel. She's an angel among humans, and regardless if you like her or not, you should at least respect her. Because this band you're listening to, that you claim to be a fan of, that you claim to obsess over, would not exist without her. It would not exist without her. The same people who are saying that Moa could sing the songs better. No, she could not. Moa has a beautiful voice, yes. Does she have Sue's range? Not by a fucking long shot. Not by a long shot. But could Sue hit those moves the same way that Moa does? She couldn't do that either. That's what a band is, is elements put together. I mean, if you can't realize that, then you're not a fucking fan. You're not a fan. You are a nitpicker, and you are wasting your fucking time. So yeah, sorry about the rant. That was a bit more heated than I wanted it to be, but I just... And likewise, on the other side of the argument, people have only done nothing but sexualize Moa lately, and it's been driving me insane. I remember, like, the day she like hit like 18 19 and people were like is it okay to call her hot yet and i'm like wow you guys have just been waiting in the ranks haven't you just waiting to jump <sighs> it's like the day they become legal people have finally been able to say 
before as fans they had to be talking about their abilities and shit because they are children but now that they're like legal people are like now i can finally objectify them it's fucking great it's fucking not i think it's crazy it's not the reaction i was expecting from fans considering the fact that they went through tremendous loss the loss of mikio the loss of yui and they bounced back stronger than ever i think took everyone by surprise with this no one was expecting a comeback like this no one they surprised everyone but the retaliation on one end has been insane by these oh i can't say it oh i hate this by these men who think they know what real music is and they know what a beautiful woman is and they know what a strong woman is probably the same men who... Don't say it, Avery. Okay. You all know the image I'm painting here. I feel like I can stop here. I feel like if I don't, I'm gonna say something I'm really gonna regret. <sighs> to me, there's just nothing more... I don't like to get into political debates. I don't like to get into gender debates. I don't. But what I do get upset about is when somebody does deserve recognition for their accolades, male, female, whatever the fuck, did something great, and people shit on them because of something that's trivial as their appearance. That is despicable. That is deplorable. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you around.